We're recording. Okay. Uh, so welcome to the hearing by Zoom of the Local Historic District Commission. Our purpose is to aid property owners and the town in preserving and protecting the distinctive characteristics and architecture of buildings and places significant to the history of Amherst. Uh, this meeting will be conducted by a remote means. Members of the public who wish to access the meeting may do so via Zoom or by telephone, and a hyperlink to the hearing will be po is posted on the town's online calendar. Uh, so we're going to be talking, we, we require three certificates to ensure that new construction and most alterations of exterior architectural features in the district meet requirements. And for today's hearing, we have uh, about three different projects to talk about. Um, we are recording this hearing, which is open to the public. And we're going to start with uh, Ms. Williams um, telling us about the first project, but let me just take roll call first. So uh, Nicole? Here. Uh, Steve? Sorry, I, I, mu I muted. Here. Uh, Greta? Here. Uh, Betty? Here. And Karen? Here. And I'm here also. OK. Uh, take it away, Jacinta. Hi, so we are returning back to 68 McClellan. Just a few additional um, updates. We didn't see them the first time they came through, so we you know, wanted to make sure that if there's anything that's um, outstanding in terms of the exteriors or the electrical or the mechanical, that we see them now so that they can have everything approved so that they don't have to keep coming back um, for the local historical district commission um, just so that they can move forward with their construction. So I will turn it over to Joel if he's ready. Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Uh, thanks for having me today. Um, I guess what I wanted to do is just to go over all the um, exterior fixtures, elements, stuff like that. Um, that you need to see that's visible from the street. So I had prepared, hold on one sec. <clears throat> I had prepared a little diagram. Do you have this? Yes. Okay. And it kind of shows where everything is placed. Um, some of it you can see from the street and some of it you you can't. So I just wanted to, I guess, ask you if you had any questions or whether I should just walk you through A through I, however you want to proceed. Why don't you walk us quickly through A through I? Okay, wonderful. So A is on the northwest corner. That's the um, electric meter, the service. Yeah, right there, because the pole is right there on the street. So it's gonna be an overhead wire. That's where the electric company asked us to uh, put it. Yeah, just like that, yep. Any questions about that? Joel, could I ask a, a general question first? Uh, when I saw the, the photos and the drawings, yes. I wasn't sure if those things were already in place. I didn't know if the drawings were from your building or the photos were from your building or it, if it's... those were images from another place. Yeah, it's a mixture. So the photo that I provided you of the electrical service is actually on the house. I don't know. Yeah, there it is right there. It's the only place I could put it. And I didn't want to put it on the front of the house. So that is the electrical service, the meter. Does anyone have any concerns about the electrical meter going there? Okay, why don't you take us to the next item? 
Okay. The next item is what's called an ERV exhaust vent. ERV is part of the new stretch code. What it does is it circulates air in the house. The picture you're looking at right now on the screen is a duplex on North Whitney Street. So there won't be two of them. There will only be one of them. Okay. Um, and I, I believe it's going to be on the west side where that B is indicated. You may or may not see it from the street, but I'm just showing you everything that's going to be sticking out. How big is that? It's approximately um, eight inches by eight oh, inches. Okay. Fine, thank you. Yeah, it's like a dryer vent, a little bigger. So that's B. C, are you all set with B? I think so. Okay. So C is, this photograph here is also from North Whitney Street. It's a, uh, it's the cover for an underground propane tank. It lifts up. At, and underneath it is where all the gauges and how they fill it. And it sticks up out of the ground, I would say six to eight inches. I'm not sure if you're going to see this from the street either, but I'm just including it. It's behind the house. It had to be a certain distance from the house and a certain distance from the property line. So it didn't really have many places it could go. It was pretty much the only spot. Yeah. So that's what that is. That does not look like it'll be visible from the street. I don't think so. I mean, you'd have to look really hard to see it. Plus, I mean, we're, we haven't even begun to, to talk about, you know, shrubs and stuff like that. I can hide any of this stuff. Okay. Um, we will encourage you to hide everything. What's that? I said, we, we encourage you to hide everything. Yeah, well, I don't think there'll be much that's going to be um, unattractive. Okay. So that's C. Uh, D, you will not see from the street. That is the exhaust, the intake and the exhaust for the boiler in the basement. That's number D facing east, southeast. That you won't see. Right. On the east side, there's two elements that I wanted to illustrate here. One is number E is the motion light that lights the driveway when you drive up. They're pointed down, but you'll certainly see that. So they're, they're not pointed down in your picture, but they will be? Yeah, those are pointed down. They're pointed wide. Oh. But they can be, of course, they can be pointed more down, of course. Okay. Um, so that's E. F is, um, that is a, a vent for a microwave, a range hood above the stove. And that's probably four inches by 10 inches. It's about this big. Okay. All right. Um, G are the are the two front lanterns. Those were from Home Depot or Lowe's. They're they're not fancy, but they look okay. The front door will be similar. Um, oh, do you have any questions about the lanterns, the lights? I don't think so. Okay. Um, 
The next one is H. Those are the retaining walls. I don't know if you've driven past the property recently, but the first row is in. They're actually pretty good looking. I've walked by the pack, uh, by the property and I agree and I like the granite stairs too. Thank you. Thank you. Um, the the there was quite a height differential between the sidewalk and the front door. So there's actually, believe it or not, going to be two more sets of granite steps. Um, the next one, the next set right there where the hand just was, yeah, right there, those I'm going to try to put in in the next couple of weeks. And then we have to backfill the first wall that we put in. I don't think we're going to put the second wall in until the spring where everything is nicely compacted. Um, but that's what I is. I have a photo here. I don't know if everyone on the board has seen. Can you see that? The wall? Yeah. Yeah, I've seen it walking past. Yeah, I don't know. So it actually looks pretty good. Um, and then those, the two tiered gardens will have nice, uh, plantings in them, you know, which will soften the look a little bit. Plus these two walls, they're only two feet tall, but when we backfill, when we loam the lawn and we backfill the garden, probably half of the bottom stone will get covered. So they're not going to look as tall as they do right now. <clears throat> um, the one thing that I didn't include on this is there's going to be a brick sidewalk going from the, yeah, from the sidewalk and between the, and then between the next two sets of steps. Nice. They're pavers that look like bricks. They're nice. They're called uh, Boston mm -hmm. uh, Boston Colonials. I think they're called something like that. Nice. All in all, it will be a pretty attractive um, house when it's finished. Great. And what kind of railing are you putting in? What kind of railing are you planning to put in? Are you guys talking? Because I can't hear. Yes, I'm asking you what kind of a what kind of railing you're putting in. Hello. You can't hear us, Joel. Can you hear us at all? I can now. I'm really sorry. I don't know what happened. That's okay. We're asking what kind of railing are you putting in? Thank you for asking. I think I forgot about that. Um, I have to check with Rob and see what the code is. I'm not 100% sure it needs railings, but if it does, I was going to do a, a simple black. I think I provided a picture of one, a black pipe just bent. Kind I of simple. don't know that I have a picture of it. Okay. One moment, please. You want to share your screen? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry about my volume. I must have hit something. Looks nice. Okay. It's pretty basic, but yeah. strong. I like the simple railings. Yeah, so they don't hit you, you know. The steps will be attractive in the wall. I'd rather call attention to that than the railing, but this will be strong. I don't know if they're required for three steps or not. I'm not sure. Are there questions from any of the commissioners? Yeah, I have a question. How did you yeah. build it so quickly? Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> a wall or the house. Like, like, can you build the library or the school? <laughs> <laughs> Do you have your own contract? I mean, your own construction company? I mean, seriously, that thing went up like in record time. I've done many projects with Mike. We're old, old friends. Yeah. Wow. It looks nice. Yes, thank you. He did the work behind me, too. Yeah. Wow. He's very good. He built my office on Alex Street. Huh. Um, so, no, they're not. They're not speed demons, but the quality is exceptional. It seemed pretty fast to me, but whatever. Thank you. My grandson kept careful track of everything that went on. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I think I might have seen you guys walking by. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Well, you guys are welcome to have a tour whenever we get a little further along. But if we have no further questions, um, I think... We're ready to vote on whether we're going to approve these changes. Um, or if there is there any comment from the public? Is there any public here that we need to hear from? I don't okay. have anyone. Do I have a motion to approve? I, I motion. We have a second. Second. I'll second. Or okay. Maybe can second. Uh, Karen? Bye. Rita? I approve. Betty? Yes, I approve. Steve? Steve? Yes. Nicole? Yes. And I approve it. So uh, you're all set. You will get your certificate. Thank you uh, very much. Christmas. Thank I you for coming it. and for yeah. pro providing all the information beforehand. That was very helpful. My pleasure. Have a nice day. Thanks. You, you too. too. Okay, Jacinta, do you want to take us to the next one? Sure. So the next applicant is coming forward with a replacement of the egress. It's for a three-story staircase, um, but basically they just need to bring it up to code. And while the building inspector is ready to do the work or, you know, approve it, we just wanted to make sure that the local historic district commission was also on board as well. So Mr. Bailu is here to talk to us about 36 Triangle Street. Al, Welcome. would you like to I'll turn it over to you? Mr. Bailu, would you like to tell us about this project? I think he doesn't. Or is he muted? No. No, he's not muted. Can you We're turn up your volume? Him. Sometimes you just have to choose a different speaker. If you go to your audio settings, so bottom left of the Zoom screen, and click on the arrow that's the carrot that's pointing up and just double check your audio, audio settings. Uh, we can't hear you, but maybe Mr. Cody can speak for you. Nope, can't hear him either. <laughs> What's going on? Okay. About now? Yeah, that's good. Okay, well, so it was the speaker that wasn't listed, uh, as I thought it was. I am assuming this is for the egress stairs on Triangle Street. Yes. So, as far as a building inspector's perspective, they are a great safety hazard as they sit now. And I would like to see them built to uh, an appropriate standard to protect both the tenants' lives and the firefighters that may have to respond up them. Uh, as far as the aesthetics go, I really don't have an opinion on that. I think what I had seen presented seemed like a typical staircase. Yeah. 
Yeah, you know, I don't know which yeah. for which way is better. Uh, better would be the, the key rock, but uh, it could be peculiar to the key rock, but simply, um, or it's the, another system of something. Hello? Yeah, in five days. Are there questions about this staircase? Jacinta, do you want to show a picture if people haven't opened up their own pictures? Sure, I'm pulling it up right now. One second. So will it have that um, metal uh, protective railing? No, now it's all going to be wooden. It's all going to be wooden? Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, the metal is there now, and uh, somebody started and pulled half of it out. So this is what it looks like currently. Is that correct, Dave? Yes. Okay. Yes. And you're proposing putting this in? No. That, no. 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 The, the wooden one that's in the picture in the drawing. Okay. So this. One. Yeah, it's going to be all wooden. Okay. All, all out of pressure treated. Mm -hmm. Got it. What were the other pictures? Sure, let the... me go back. This is the existing. Existing, yeah. No, that seems like it'll be an improvement. Yeah. The new landing will be a lot wider. The the one the previous picture just showed on the. Down here, yeah. Yeah. Will they be painted or? Uh, that's to the up to the homeowner. Up to the homeowner, okay. Yeah, we don't paint. So does it attach to the side of the house, or does it just is it just like an open run, um, the way it's pictured in the old one? Uh, the downstairs coming out will be away from the house, because we don't like have enough landing to turn around over there. You see that landing. Uh, that says uh, eight foot six over there. It's attached to the to the house and to the side into the corner. Yeah, I yeah, right that. there. That's the new landing mm -hmm. and coming down this way. And where that line is for that, where uh, eight foot six, that's the existing roof towards the house. Yeah, that's the existing roof line. So it would be a new landing attached to that. Then the stairs would be on the opposite side, yeah. And the railings would be on the outside of the stairs. Correct. They'll be on both sides. That's up against the house, and that's up against the other roof. Yeah, and over here, the railings, the new railings are going to be on both sides of the going down the stairs to the lower level to the ground. It seems like an improvement to me. So what why are you showing the pictures with the metal railings? Yeah. I guess I was confused by that. Brick house, right? Or the stone house. Yeah, the stone. Uh-huh. You're talking about these, right? Yeah. 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 It looks great. I just wondered why you're showing it. <laughs> nice house. What's it got yeah. to do with this project? Mm-hmm. They were included in the um the packet. I'm not sure why. Al, did you want to talk about these or no? No, uh, in the contract we quoted that all. Maybe Marissa put them in there by mistake. 
Okay. Oh, just by mistake. I'll move on. Yeah, okay. but uh, all the framing and railings are to be pressure treated. Okay. Okay. So it's all going to be wooden. Yeah, it's all going to be wooden. Okay. So you're extending the landing by two feet about? Uh, I think about by almost four feet. Four feet, okay. Yeah. Okay. Can I draw on this? Let me see. Probably not. So it's going to come out a little bit further than what we're seeing here. Yeah. Okay. Do you see my uh, mouse on the screen or not? I can yeah. let you share the screen one second. You should be able to share. Go to the bottom where it says share screen. It'll be the green box with the black arrow. Uh, yeah, I'm not too. I'm. I'm just going to stay on here. I was just going to, well, not too familiar with the. But yeah, it's going to extend out four feet off of that roof line, flat, and then walk over to another four feet wide stairs going down. So you have 36 inch clearance going down in between the rails. And uh, off of the second, uh, off of the third floor coming onto the roof, it's going to be pretty close with the three foot six, uh, with the, yeah, uh, the stairs, yeah. Mm -hmm. there, might, there might be 32 inches in between, and that's the, all the space I have between the house and the, and the house, the roof eave that's on your right side. But the steps will be a little wider than they are now, or just a little further out from the house than they are now. They will be a little bit wider, yes. Are there other questions from the commission? Would someone like to make a motion? I motion to approve. Do I have a second? I second. Okay, let's take a vote then. Uh, Nicole? Yes. Uh, Karin? Yes. Frida? Yes. Betty? Yes. Um, yes. Steve? Yes. And I approve also. So you have your certificate of appropriateness. Uh, thank you for coming to this meeting and bringing this and sending us this information in advance. It's always very helpful to us. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Good evening, guys. Okay. Uh, the next thing on our agenda is where's my agenda? So um, 328 Lincoln Ave is gonna be at our next hearing. 320 so, Lincoln. Yeah, we are just gonna move that to the November 18th meeting date. Okay. One moment. So in that case, uh, we're ready to discuss the East Amherst. So we're ready to move into a public hearing uh, for a discussion of the East Amherst study with an update from Jacinta. One moment, one moment. I just want to say that Elizabeth, Betty, thank you so much for representing us. You did a great, a brilliant job. So. 
Thank you all. Thank you for responding. Um, I don't know what the next steps are. Maybe um, Jacinta can um, let us know. Um, and thank you for responding. I felt like we had a unanimous voice and even if nothing comes of it, I'm glad that we went on the record to say that. So thank you. I, I didn't expect to be on NPR. I'll just say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I missed a lot of that conversation. I had a question from a colleague. Um, oh. What was the point of discussion? Uh, I don't know if you know what the next steps are with the Section 106 review for the library. That I don't know, but I can ask. Um, I've heard a couple of things in the ethers, and I don't want to repeat anything that may be misinformation. Okay. So <laughs> I will leave it at that for now. Um, but with regard to the East Amherst study, I know that Nate met with Chris Skelly, uh, I think last Friday. Um, and I think they hammered out some details. Chris can't be with us today, but he will be getting started on the work and is happy to join us You know, later on, maybe possibly in November. Uh, to talk to us about what he's accomplished so far. So he's been briefed, he's met with town staff, and he's, you know, he's working on it. So perhaps by November 18th, he might have an update for us. Great. And our, our many thanks to Steve for bringing Chris onto this project because it took a lot of work. <laughs> yeah, it really did. <clears throat> but uh, we got our guy, so um, we're in good hands. Uh unanticipated items that we need to discuss? Is there anything? I don't have anything. Does anyone else have anything? Well, I mean, I do. If um, if the town or if Bob um, Parent comes back with um, suggested mitigation measures for the library, um, does this com a a committee commission want to, um, again, review and have a say? And um, Bruce brought up the question of whether we needed to abide by open meeting law for, for those kinds of discussions. And I felt that we didn't since we weren't asked to pass on something as a commission. I felt like we were just simply having a conversation about it in mutual agreement. There actually was not enough time between when they announced the date of this and what was gonna happen and when we had to ha have our conversation, we could not have posted a meeting. So I don't feel too guilty about that. Steve. Yeah, um, the library is not part of the LHT, right? No. Yeah, no. I just want to make that clear. So, OK. But we were asked to be a consulting. Yes, we I were know a that. consulting party, so. Yeah, no, I understand. OK, I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. So is the question whether or not you need to give public notice or is it an official public hearing? Is that the question? Well, Bruce wondered whether we should not have been communicating with each other about what Betty was gonna talk about um, online. We just really wanted to make sure that everybody was on board before she said that she was representing us. Got it. Uh, do we have any public comment that we need to hear? Are there members of the public here who want Let to speak? Let me check. I have, no, I don't have anyone. Greta, mm -hmm. it says you're an attendee. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was going to um, use my upstairs computer, and it was such a nice day, I decided to go come down here. And I oh, thought, nice. Turn it off. So, <laughs> sorry. No, it's okay. It should be meeting outside. It's just gorgeous here. Oh. Greta, did you get did you get your car? We get it tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. We get it tomorrow. Okay, I want to see it. It's been on the boat for <laughs> okay. tomorrow the next day. I think we go in and do paperwork. Right. And Got it. Okay. Okay. Oh, hey, uh, do you want to set a, a meeting date for our next meeting, Jacinta? Sure. Um, Monday, November 18th is the third Monday in November, I believe. I don't know if everyone is available. Let me make sure I'm looking at this correctly. Yeah, that's yes. right. Well, it's the, yes, that's the third Monday. Yes. 
the week before everyone travels. Right. Good to me. Okay. Three o'clock? Yes, okay. please. November 18th at 3 p.m. It's fun. Okay. Yep. Good to me. Thank you. All right. Do I have a motion to adjourn? My motion. Uh, second. Second. Uh, okay. Uh, Nicole? Yes. Betty? Yes. Frida? Yes. Karen? Yes. Steve? Yes. And I agree too. Uh, so thank you very much to Cynthia and uh, we will see you in a month. Thank you. Great. Enjoy thank the weather, you, everybody. everyone. Yes. Bye. Bye-bye.